What's up, my homies? It's me, your favorite juggalo. This one's for all the juggalos and juggalettes out there. Can I get a whoop whoop in the crowd? Come on. All right, that's it. All right, cut it. All right, that's it. That's the intro. Cut it. I'm a huge mark for backyard wrestling. I used to watch it all the time as a kid. Me trying to be a backyard wrestler. So you know what this developer studio, Eidos, did? They made a video game specifically for backyard wrestling fans, like me. And it's pretty, uh, how should I put this? It's bad, all right? It's really bad, like super bad. So it's time to go back to the past and play some wrestling games that suck ass. It's Backyard Wrestling, don't try this at home on the PlayStation 2 and Xbox. Coming off the craze of the Attitude Era and Backyard Wrestling's popularity was growing and growing and growing. So the developers at this studio, Eidos, decided, let's get in on the craze with Backyard Wrestling, don't try this at home. And while I commend the effort and also some of the characters like the Insane Clown Posse, I still think that this game is very mediocre, not just for a wrestling game, but also a fighting game. It's not even a wrestling game, it's more so a fighting game with wrestlers in it. So now it's time to look at Backyard Wrestling, don't try this at home. Talk show mode is this game's equivalent of a story mode. It's basically some guy that looks like he's on the Ellen show or something, talking about how bad backyard wrestling is for our children, and brings in a bunch of people like the guy who got grill marks on his face, or Santa Claus, or the insane clown posse themselves. And this mode is just basically a gauntlet mode with different like uh, cutscenes and whatnot spread in. You just fight three guys in the first chapter and then the next one, after the talk show interview, you fight another round of guys. And then we move on to the next talk show segment and then you fight another round of guys. It's very repetitive, that's the point, all right? It's basically just fight after fight after fight. Also, you take damage, like, so the damage carries over. So, like, if you're fighting and the damage, and you take a lot of damage, that's going to carry over into your next fight. Because it's a legit gauntlet. You have to keep fighting them all until you win. So, eventually, the talk show mode ends when, the, when our TV host here, Chad, gets beaten up by Madman Pondo. And Madman Pondo, who I've never even heard of, is the final boss in this game. We picked Shaggy 2 Dope, so because Jokolo City, whoop whoop, and we basically clobbered him. Honestly, he was a lot easier than the actual other gauntlets because I don't have to worry about, I don't have to worry about multiple opponents. I just have to focus on this one. So yeah, that's talk show mode. It's pretty uh, mediocre, but at least some of the skits are funny. So that's a positive. All right, now it's time to talk about the crux of this game. It's gameplay, and oh boy, it's it's a real stinky, it's a real stinker when it comes to gameplay. So, it's the gameplay in this game is is very bad. Like I, I hate it. I hate this game's gameplay. It's too fast. Like you're just moving at like at like mock speed everywhere you go. Like if you try to climb something, you can easily just walk off the structure. Completely just defeating the purpose of jumping off something, which is what happens in backyard wrestling 90% of the time. So you move too fast, but also the moves are also really fast. Like you can get stuck. Like the moves in this game, you you just you can't really do anything because the grabbing. Oh, hold on. Because in this game, everything's so quick, it's really hard to pull off moves. If you try to grapple them, you might just get outsped, and that's it. And then you, and you get your ass kicked. There's just nothing here that's, like, really fun. It's not even fun. Like, it's not even fun bad. It's just annoying. Because there, the opponent is really fast. Um, and another thing about it, not just it being super duper fast, it's also, you also have, there's a stun meter. And you get stunned all the time, which means that you cannot counter moves. Like if you get stunned, and one of and it's stunning is called uh, punch drunk, which of course it is. But you just get you can just get clobbered because you get stun locked, and you can get stun locked in like on the mat or on the corner, and it's really annoying. Weapons in this game, which is the most important part of backyard wrestling, are not that great because your opponent can just run at you and you can't even hit them with the weapon. So it's like 
the weapons are like the like are completely useless in the game. Like the best strategy is just to like strike and hit grapples. Like weapons just they they're just useless. In the backyard wrestling game, that's pretty bad. The countering system is fine, I guess. You basically just have to press square in uh, whatever direction. It's not it's not that big of a deal. Um, there's some interactions in the stages, but those are kind of limited too. They're kind of funny and they're kind of goofy, but it's not really like something that you're gonna remember. Like, wow, the grilled guy just grilled my ass cheeks. You can light things on fire, but because you move so quickly, you won't even be able to do anything. You can't target where you hit moves. So overall, I would say the gameplay is very, very mediocre and it's the worst part of the game. The worst part of the game is its own gameplay. So let's look at the difficulty. The difficulty of this game has three. It has normal, hard, and corn star difficulty. Yes, that's a difficulty in this game. And it doesn't really change much because you can really cheese the game. If you just run at your opponent and hit a diving crossbody or whatever, you can basically just cheese the game. Like even on the hardest difficulty, the AI can't react fast enough because the, like whenever you get up, the AI will just like not do anything. Like running and then attacking, it's kind of cheap, but I mean, I don't care. This game is terrible, so I might as well do terrible strategies. So what are the other game modes other than talk show mode? You have your exhibition, which is just, I mean, it's just what you've been doing in talk show mode. It's just fights, there's nothing else. And then there are some other modes such as survival mode, which is basically talk show mode, except it never ends. You have, and then you have two other modes. You have tag matches, which sounds terrible, especially in this game. And, and then there's King of the Hill, which I can't play because the game won't let me. I don't know if I have to unlock it in talk show mode, but yeah, like, so there's a King of the Hill, which sounds interesting, and a tag match, which sounds terrifying. This game also has a create a wrestler mode, surprisingly so, and it's what you would expect. It's very poor. Like, you can't even choose clothing options. The only thing you can do is choose a body type with some preset clothes, and then you can, like, change their move sets a bit, and that's it. Like, there's nothing else. You can change their attacks and their grapples. But other than that, there's not much else. Oh, you can name your wrestler, too. I mean, that's... Like, that's not really that hard. But the point is, is that the creator wrestler is pretty bad, which isn't surprising, because a lot of these games don't really focus on creator wrestler. This game also has a media room. And what is this exactly? It's basic, it's just like where you can watch like development stuff. Like you can watch like the grapple moves and attack moves, but the main, the main crux in my opinion for this is it's like backyard wrestling movies. It has backyard wrestling movies of you know, like multiple movies. Some of them are a little um, explicit. <laughs> And others are just, you know, backyard wrestling. The movies are fun, at least. At least they're fun to watch, kind of. You know? At least it's something. I wish the game was like that, but it is what it is. Finally, this game has cheat codes, which actually do kind of make the game somewhat redeemable because cheat codes are fun. Like, you've got, um, Big Everything mode. Halo. Grayscale mode. Wireframe. And last but not least, First person camera, which is an absolute nightmare to play. This is just more of a gimmick than anything else. If you try to play the game in first person mode, you'll probably like get a migraine because it's that disorienting. Or you could just combine all of them into one. That That's possible too. So overall, the concept is kind of cool because as a huge backyard wrestling fan, um, at least I was as a kid, I thought this was a pretty cool concept and that's why I picked it up when I was a kid. But in execution, it's horrific. It's terrible, awful. Like, it's not fun. The gameplay is really not fun to play. The talk show mode is kind of funny, but it's not, it's just gauntlets. It's like, the only game modes in this game really are like just either gauntlets in the story mode or gauntlets in exhibition mode. That's it, you know? Yeah, King of the Hill, but I wasn't able to access it. I guess I have to beat talk show mode on like corn star difficulty, but there's no way I'm doing that. All right, I already put four hours into this game. I'm not gonna do another like eight hours just to get King of the Hill. 
Uh, Create a wrestler is very limited. I mean, that's not really surprising though. The soundtrack is is fine if you like that kind of music. Um, the movie's media room is kind of cool just to see like what the devs like. The, you can see like in the credits, you can see the developers, you know, showing us how they do shit, which is kind of cool. Uh, some of the movies are fun to watch and some of them I probably can't even show because it's that bad. <laughs> Like this game is kind of like a product of its time and it's kind of a fascinating game to look back on just because of that also the cheat codes make the game a little bit more enjoyable except first person mode that can go straight to the uh, abyss because screw that but yeah overall my thoughts is that this game is very bad i would not recommend you playing it at all thanks for watching i hope you have a great day and don't backyard wrestle, please. Don't go in your backyard and start jumping off shit. There's your uh, lesson of the day for me.